at the beginning, I, I, because I was only seven at the time I joined, I did, I missed my friends from the school that I used to go to. At that oh. time, it was just, it was just three, my three siblings and, and myself homeschooling. But over time, though, as more students joined, um, that fear was laid to rest and I developed many healthy and strong friendships that are still there today. Um, studying in my own little cubicle reinforced my understanding that it's it's my responsibility to learn, but there was plenty of time for socializing and for building friendships. So I, I, when I look back, that was really the only thing I was worried oh. about at the beginning. So, so you even had time to socialize. That is good. Okay, so I'm doing a, a Bachelor of Dental Surgery, and I'm just about to complete my third year. So after completing ACE, I had, I had excellent grades, but I honestly wasn't sure what field I wanted to go into. And so what I did is I, I took a gap year after finishing, and I was praying at the time that God would would lead me into the field that you know he'd want me to be in because I had various interests. I was passionate about the arts, passionate about music, um, but I also enjoyed the sciences and I didn't know where to go. Um, so during that gap year, I gained work experience in different environments, uh, including as a receptionist or an extra hand at a dental clinic. And I found the dental field really interesting and um, after more time committed to prayer and fasting, then I felt a strong peace about going into that field. Um, so that's how I got into dentistry. Prior to that, though, I did, while I was waiting for this course to open, I did uh, do a, a course at Hillsong Bible College in Australia while I was waiting for the course to, to, to open here. In my personal experience, until afterwards, so I did like a, gen you can do, right now you, you have more options in that you can do bias courses when you get to your advanced certificate, so what would be equivalent to your A-level, like your S6, you can start to do a bias where you, you focus on sciences or you focus on, on some social studies. At that time, I wasn't sure, so I did general, I, I did everything that there was to do. I did some chemistry, I did some physics. Um, and then afterwards, because I'd done those sciences, I was able to take my results from there and use them to apply for medicine. Uh, if I'd wanted to go into engineering, I would, also, I would still have the platform to be able to do that. But usually students towards the advanced certificate at the end is when they begin to maybe get to feel that I want to go in this direction. And the curriculum allows for that. It allows you to to put a focus, but then if you're not sure, you can also just do a general, you, you do general coverage of, of all the topics. Just in summary, maybe some few words to the parents who are watching as we yeah. wind up with you. So maybe just some final words. Um, going through ACE was a blessing. It was wonderful. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't trade for anything. The opportunities it presented for person, personal development, um, the things Faith and Trouble and Gracious have talked about in terms of goal setting, discipline in your walk with God. Um, I wouldn't trade that for anything. And it's played a huge part in who I am today. Um, I find that I find that, you know, I would I would definitely recommend ACE. The, the whole curriculum is centered around two things: building a strong foundation in your relationship with God and excellence. And if you have those two qualities, you're setting yourself up for big wins in life. Um, Proverbs 22, 29 says that if you see a person who is excellent in their work, they will serve and stand before kings and not mere men. And I think the opportunities with ACE, though it's it's unconventional compared to the, the normal national curriculum, um, the opportunities are really are boundless. So cultivating an attitude and an outlook of, of excellence and honoring God will make you, will take you much farther in life than having a well-known school on your CV. It will also require you to trust God more because of its it's unconventional or less common way than what we're used to normally here. But I think when you combine um, walking with God and trusting him with your education and outlook on life, the opportunities really are boundless. So I highly recommend it. Um, I know there are concerns about transitioning to local universities, but there are many examples of students who have done that, myself included, both in Uganda and abroad. 
um, we have many students who've already kind of paved the way so that it's easier for the students coming up behind. And um, yeah, I think I feel like that's what I'd have oh, to say. Wow. You okay, friends. you give us a very good summary. Thank you so much, uh, David Magara, the young upcoming doctor.